Greetings from the Diocese of Joliet. This is Father Burke Masters, the Director of Adult Formation. And what I'd like to talk to you about today is our identity as beloved children of God. I remember a few years ago, I was doing a parish mission and somebody asked me, Father, what's the most important lesson you've learned in life? And immediately what came to mind was when I learned not just, I knew intellectually that God loved me, but when it hit my heart that I believed that I was a child of God, it changed everything. How did I get there? Uh, I was on an eight day silent retreat with the spiritual director and my spiritual director said, I want you to pray with the baptism of Jesus in, in the Jordan River. And he said, I want you to imagine yourself being Jesus and hearing the words of God the Father. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And so I remember going to prayer and on these eight day silent retreats, we do four one hour prayer sessions a day. And the first time I went to pray, you know, I imagined myself going into the Jordan River with, with John the Baptist, the heavens open up and the father telling me, Burke, you are my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And I couldn't believe it. I believe that God loved everybody else, but not me because I knew I was a sinner. And so I did that four hours in a row, the same thing, I couldn't believe it. To make a long story short, I did this for five days straight, praying with the same scripture, 20 hours, and finally I opened the door of my heart to the love of God. And what happened was he came flooding in. I felt his love in a way that I'd never felt before. And I finally believed in my heart that God loved me as his beloved son. I heard a priest say once that God the Father wants for you what he wanted and wants for Jesus. And what's that? To know that we're his beloved child and he wants eternal life for us. And so my recommendation during this time would be to pray with the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. Imagine yourself every day hearing the words of God the Father, you are my beloved child, you're my beloved daughter, you're my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased because it's the truth. And the more we hear the truth, the more we believe it. So spend time with that and allow God to transform your life so that you know your true identity as God's beloved child.